Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is October 14th and Samsung just pushed off two software updates for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 in just the last couple days. So let's take a look at this one. So this one is getting ready to download and then install. This one's giving you that October 1st patch. It's a pretty small update, but if I was to go on back one page, you can see my last update was earlier today. Again, October 14th at 1.32 p.m. This update was pushed out the day prior. I didn't do it until today at 1.30 and this was the larger update. This is the one that gave you September 1st uh, and then also a large size of 1,399 megabytes. So if you haven't looked at your Galaxy Z Fold 4 in a few days, you might notice you'll have two updates. First, you'll have this one that will give you September 1st with a large update and we'll take a look at a bunch of different applications that had an update that came along with this. Then when you're finished with this one, you can actually search again or maybe give it a couple hours and then you're gonna find another Another one, then this one will give you that October 1st patch. It's smaller. It's just rounding out that first update because the Galaxy Z Fold 4 was sitting on a July 1st patch. There was a lot that needed to be updated just recently, and Samsung did that in just the last couple days with two updates. Now, before we go through and we update this one here, I do want to show you that larger update that we just got in talking about. The one that was giving you that September 1st patch, which should be the first update you get, and then you'll receive this one. Now, I took a look at a bunch of different Samsung applications and services, and I wanted to see if there's newer versions. So when it comes down over into the camera, so I'm going to press and hold, take a look. I wrote down all of the versions before the update. The camera version used to be 1210169. This is now 1210190. So there is a newer version of the camera. Same thing with the home. So if we go inside of the home, hit on settings, scroll down. Let's take a look at the about home. This one used to be 135031. This one's 135053. So there's a newer version of Samsung Home. Then let's take a look at the fingerprint and face recognition. Because a lot of times when you see that the security of your device has been updated, you don't really only hope for that security patch. Hopefully you're going to get some newer updates for biometrics. So now let's take a look at the security patches of biometrics. So when it comes down to the fingerprint, it used to be 6006, uh, same version here. And then for the face, it was 2118, 2118 here. So it looks like the biometrics is the exact same. So the security patch is really what kind of, you know, got pushed out for that newer update. You can also take a look at your Google Play system update. So you can take a look at this one to see if you have the latest version. This one's right now sitting on September 1st. So it looks like we again have the latest version of the Google Play uh, security update. So you always want to take a look at that one when you're inside of the screen. Now let's take a look over at Samsung messages. So I don't really use Samsung messages. I'm more of a Google messages user myself. So on the very bottom here, before for this update it was 13 2 10 21 this one's 13 2 20 31. So you do have a newer version of Samsung Messages. And then lastly, let's head over and let's take a look over at Samsung Files. So the My Files, this version before the update used to be 13102362. So it looks like the exact same, 13102362. So the My Files did not need an update. Look like everything else did. So if you are looking for these updates, what you wanna do is head inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down. You'll take a look at software update. Then you go to download and install. Now, if you ever are curious on when the last update you did, how big it was, what all was new with it, all you have to do is go to that last update. When you tap on last update, it's gonna show you everything that showed um, on this screen here which is pretty nice. So all I'm gonna do now is just download this. I'm gonna get it installed. I'm not gonna take a look at everything after this update. There's really no big deal to do that. We already saw a bunch of things was new and updated. This one's a smaller update, so I really wanted to take a look at what was new with the larger one, which is about a thousand megabytes bigger than this one. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys today, that there is two brand new software updates for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. If you haven't taken a look yet, make sure you take a look. I also know that the Galaxy Galaxy S22 series got updated about a week ago, and then the Galaxy Z Flip 4 had its update one or two days ago as well. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.